Ah, oh, hello. Hello, Harvey. Oh, are you? It's on the phone. Okay. Right. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Well, thanks for spending some time with me. Good oh, to see you, Louis. It's a pleasure. Let's go inside. Do you want to go All right. inside? Yeah, we'll go in here. So this is your uh, this is your bookstore. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Every one of these is a first edition, and uh, particularly in here, and it's all it's all uh, really investment literature. Wow. It's all investment literature. It's all uh, it's signed. Treasures. They are treasures. They're treasures. literary it's treasure, simple. and they you know they represent a great deal from a, a literary quality point of view, and uh, and also from a, a financial point of view. This is signed Hemingway and Faulkner and signed Churchill and. And the Queen Victoria is awesome. Ah, Queen Victoria. One of my favorites. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, how did you get started in this? Uh, Through a very circuitous route, a very yeah. long route. He got me involved in this. I've always loved books. We all have. You know, I've always grown up. We've always grown up, you know, reading. Simple. And we've always loved books. And in high school, um, I had a to the used bookshop. Mm -hmm. um, and just began collecting. And bit by bit, you know, we never brought our own collections in, thank God. Um, but just bit by bit, we always wanted to open up a first edition shop. It's always a dream. It's a dream for so many people, really, who love to read. It's a dream to open up. I, I can't tell you. Countless people will say, Come "Oh, I've say. always wanted to, I've always wanted to open a bookshop." Oh, can you know. I live here? Like, to be <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, to be there. surrounded. But this is heaven, being surrounded by this. And when we first went into this business, um, Louis and I discussed that. We said, "You know what? As long as it doesn't have to make money, as long as, as, long as it pays its own event. way." As long as it pays its own way, you mm -hmm. know, and we didn't really think that we'd be, we'd be making money off this. But, but these are expensive books, mm. and in order to make money, we have to spend the money to buy these books. Some of these books are, you know, well, well into, you know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars, and that's uh, a lot of money. So, but they will escalate. We were the first people to bring Harry Potter to America. Oh, wow! And these, and that, that was thanks to Louis. Louis got onto this at the outset, and we brought them here never dreaming. I mean, these are now no longer for sale. There's one more book coming out uh, uh, July 21st, 21st of July. and that'll, that'll be the set. And then they'll be, then we'll sell them. We've got people waiting to buy the, the whole set. You know? Oh, really? Really? Amazing. And then this, I mean, things like Catch You in the Rye, I um, put away a number of catalogues in which that title was featured and in six years, that particular title has gone from from a 12,000... Wait a minute, I'll soon tell oh, you. Is it 3,500 original? No. It's gone from... Oh, you're right. Yeah. From 12,500 to $33,500 in the course of seven years. And then when wow. Sandra passes away, you're looking yeah, at, a, at yeah. least double. Yeah. At least. Wow. Yeah. Huh. But that's a lot of it. So half the trick here is really to, to know what, what's, going to, what's going to escalate, what's going to appreciate. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and our own books, Louis and I don't bring in here because uh, it's, too, <laughs> yeah. it's too tempting. Plus, uh, we're very fortunate because in here we have a lot of books into film. Oh, right. So because you signed, used to be an actor. Yeah, in another life. So these <laughs> are signed by the, um, by the authors of the books, plus clients of ours who are stars of the movies. So there's, you know, like Nick Cage won the Oscar for that, and um, mm. all of Michael Caine signed that, the Jude Law's a client, he signed that, uh, all of these things. That's signed by the 10 stars of that movie. Mm. Kirk Douglas has signed that. Mm -hmm. Pacino has signed that. You know, so that, and these are all uh, very attractive to, uh, to collectors. Uh-huh, yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, do you always have to pay like collector's prices for these books that you find, or sometimes you find them hidden, buried somewhere? Well, you know that old thing about finding books in trash cans it and happens. yard sales, it but it happens with such so you know, it's so scarce. It's virtually a myth at this point. Um, no, what happens with us, fortunately, is that we'll buy a book, a signed book, uh, say a book into film, mm -hmm. and, and then you know Jude or Nick Cage or somebody will come in. Uh, or Paul McCartney will come in because we've got, and we'll say, "Do me a favor, uh, Paul, would you sign this?" Mm. And uh, and then that, so that doesn't cost us all that much money. Mm -hmm. uh, and, re and does it make a difference if the, ma the movie is a success or not? It really doesn't. No, not really, because uh, people like to. It's the book has always been the film anyway. 
Yeah. So you at one time were an actor, I not, an not actor. a bookseller. No, I was an actor and a, and a screenwriter. I was an actor and a writer. Ah. And um, many years ago decided that uh, I'd had enough. I'd had enough. I was actually, um, I'd finished doing a movie. Uh, it took months. And, and I, was, I was actually starring in a movie for Steven Spielberg. And I, and I said to Steven, I'm going to fit. This is it. This is it for me. I've done this all my life. And I've always wanted to open a bookshop. And my younger son is selling books, and uh, and we're going to open a shop. We're going to do it, and uh, and I think I'm persuaded that God led us right into this. So you made the announcement, and then then what? Did acted you do? on it, and then acted on it. You know, I think that uh, when one has a plan, uh, I, you know, what, I am a firm believer in in. It may sound hokey, but what I believe in connecting the spiritual dots, mm -hmm. and that, and I believe that a lot of people, many, many, many millions of people through life don't connect these dots. And so they see, they see their lives progressing as a series of coincidences. And I don't believe in coincidences. I think that, uh, as I say, coincidences are God's way of remaining anonymous. Mm. So I see signs. And God doesn't speak to me, but he speaks to me and he speaks to all of us through other people and through situations and through acts. And so my job is to interpret what I see and try and act on it in a positive, in a positive way. And, uh, and that's the way I, I, I live my life. I try and, and see things. I think if you, if you, John, wrote down everything in your life, and I believe this is true, that you think is a coincidence, mm -hmm. you wrote them all down, you would see a definite pattern. You'd see they're not coincidences at all. Mm -hmm. You really would, you know. And yeah. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to do that. And, and, you know, gratitude is, is crucial to me. Gratitude is the emotion that really propels me right through life. It is, you know. And how, and how do I express my gratitude? You know, it's other, it's not, it can't just be words. So I've got to put it all into action, you know, and I've got to mm -hmm. be the best Harvey I can be. And that, what that means to me is that Louis and I run, run an honorable business. We don't, you know, gauge, gouge people in terms of price. We're very fairly priced. Mm -hmm. We could actually make a lot more money. Mm. You know, and we don't choose to do that because both of us like to sleep well at night, <laughs> and we do, and we're very content. You know, very content. Uh, so, you know, people come in here, and it, 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 this is a very, you know, it, it sounds odd. It's a very spiritual and serene and peaceful atmosphere in here. Mm. First of all, being surrounded by the the literature, mm -hmm. but also um, because it, it is peaceful and everything that it represents to me. I'm just, I come in and I look around and Louis and I often say, my God, they, we own all these, all these books are ours, you know, we've, and it, all we've done, we haven't done anything. We've just, we've <laughs> really just done the right thing.